Man-eating sharks is today's topic. Last year I went diving with sharks. A lot of people asked me if I was afraid of being attacked. And my answer is no, because one, we were diving with Caribbean reef sharks, which almost never attack humans. And two, sharks barely ever attack scuba divers. But that got me wondering, what are the typical characteristics of man-eating sharks? So I did some research. Number one, sharks are much more likely to attack surfers than other people in the water. 59% of attacks are on surfers, 22% are on swimmers, 9% are on snorkelers and freedivers, and just 2% are on scuba divers. Number two, only about 33 shark species out of more than 375 have an unprovoked attack on a human. So that means that if you run into a shark that isn't one of these 33 species, you probably don't have much to worry about. Number three, if there's a shark attack, chances are it's one of these three species. Great whites, tiger sharks, and bull sharks. Those three species alone account for more than 50% of shark attacks on humans. Number four, if a shark kills a human, these same three species, great whites, tiger sharks, and bull sharks are responsible 75% of the time. And great whites alone are responsible for about half of all shark fatalities. Number five, there's a big question around how many fatalities have been caused by the oceanic white tip shark. Many are believed to have gone undocumented. In World War II, there are accounts of white tips attacking downed pilots and sailors. Number six, besides the great white, tiger, bull, and white tip, some of the most dangerous species include Requiem, Wobegong, Hammerhead, Mako, Spinner, Bronze Whaler, Black Tip, Lemon, Blue, and Gray Reef. These sharks are all big and powerful and known to attack humans, but they're generally considered less dangerous than the previous shark group. Number seven, one species of shark that has been documented attacking humans is the cookie cutter shark, a tiny shark about a foot long that uses its razor sharp teeth to bite chunks out of its victims. A 1955 report told of a shipwreck crew in the mid-Atlantic who, and I quote, were greatly bothered by the attacks of an extremely small fish less than a foot long and blunt nosed. These small fish swam in schools and were very persistent. The bites were clean cut and upwards of an inch or more deep. Just as a side note, I don't really understand why the report was so nonchalant about these men getting chunks ripped out of their flesh by these tiny little demon fish. I mean, we're talking about golf ball sized chunks ripped out of their flesh and they're greatly bothered. You know when I'm greatly bothered? When there's no milk in the fridge. Number eight. Sharks have been known to attack humans when they are confused or curious. They could start by bumping into the person and then they might even give what's called a test bite where they try to identify what the victim is. Number nine, the number, uh, number nine, the majority of shark attacks occur in the United States. We average about 45 shark attacks per year and about one fatality every other year. And the US holds the most dangerous beach in the world. New Smyrna Beach in Florida. Around the world, there are about 75 shark attacks per year and about seven fatalities. That number in recent years has been going up because more people have been in the water. Number 10, it may work against grizzly bears, but playing dead does not work against sharks. Instead, try and claw at the gills and eyes because those are two very sensitive areas for the shark. Bonus fact, in 2008, a polar bear's jaw was found in a Greenland shark's stomach. 